What's up guys, it's Noel and we're back with another video and today we're going to be doing what anime will I be watching in the winter 2021 season? Let's go. Sensei Sense Beats. Alright. Now, you know, now that you know, the season has already started, so I'm a little late on this video. But, but, your boy's last day of school is on Monday. So we're going to get back on the grind for the anime. And we're going to continue to watch new anime, including Attack on Titan, Promise Neverland, and more. Let's continue on. Okay. So, at the first spot, you already see Shingeki no Kyojin, the final season. Attack on Titan, the final season. This is the most anticipated anime of the seasons yet. Um, I already watched the first two episodes. Yeah, first two episodes. I'm waiting for the third one. Um, I'm waiting for the anime to pick up some more. The season to pick up some more before I make a video on it. So, yeah. Um, I'm sure you guys already seen the first, or the first at, the, at least the first episode of the anime. At least the first episode of the fourth season. So, yeah. Then we have... The Promised Neverland. This anime is also another anime I cannot wait for. Um, Norman, I want to know if he's alive or not. I need to know if he's alive or not. You know, he got taken by the demons, you know, for food. You don't know if, because he, he's really smart, you don't know if he survived or not, you know. So, let's continue on, right? Then we have Dr. Stone, Stone Wars. I, unfortunately, I still haven't started Stone Wars. I know you guys are going to hate me for that. But I need to watch. I need to watch the Wars. I know I need to. Then we have yo. Know, this might be the best season so far. Like the best anime season so far. Then we have um, reincarnation of a slime. This the second season at least. The first season I love. The first season I love. The first season I actually have a um, what do you call it? A band presto box with uh, what do you call it? With the main character? And I cannot wait. I can't wait for it to come in. ReZero, the second season, part two. I haven't finished the, the part one of the season, the second season. I need to. Um, I dropped it because it was, like, really, really slow. But, you know, knowing that I love the first season so much, I need to pick it back up. And the fact that the first part is already done, I can already just, you know, binge it throughout, right? And then, what anime is this? I have not watched this anime. I don't think I have. This is... Yeah, no, I haven't watched this yet, so... I guess I can watch the first season of this. What, what is the what's the English name? I don't know the English name. So that's a problem. B Star second season. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. B Stars is the anime that I never would have thought I would watch. But yo, it is good. Like it's actually good. And I need to watch the second season. I cannot wait for the second season. You know, if you guys watch my podcast, you know, the the furry man, Eric. You know, he got us to watch B Stars, and you know. I respect him, and I cannot, I cannot hate on Beastars at all. I cannot hate on Beastars at all. Then we have Logo Horizon, the third season of Log Horizon. You know, Log Horizon is a iconic anime. It's better, than, in my opinion, it's better than SAO in terms of gaming RPGs. RPG, not RPG anime, but gaming isekai anime, you know. Then what is Hataraku Saibo? I've never watched, I, I don't, I've never watched the first season. Oh, yeah, I think I know what this is. I feel like I know what this is, but I never watched it, you know. Okay, and then we have the Natsu no... Oh, Seven Deadly Sins. Okay. Oh, man, the, the latest season was so disappointing. It was so, so, so disappointing. It was good, but it got rushed so much. It got rushed so much. And the, and the animation looked so wacky and so um amateur-like that it was just bad. It was... Ah, oh, man... That was like the most un um, most anticlimactic season I've ever watched in my life. And we have Horiyama. Or Horimiya. Horimiya. Although admired at school for her amiability and academic prowess, high school student Kyoko Hori has been hiding another side of her. With her parents often away from home due to work, Hori has to look after her younger brother and to do the homework leaving no chance to socialize away from school. Meanwhile, Izumi Miyamura is seen as a brooding glasses-wearing otaku, 
how in reality he is a gentle person and not that studying. Furthermore, he is he has nine piercings hidden behind his long hair and a tattoo along his back and left shoulder. By sheer chance, Hori and Mia 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 I cannot pronounce that. I've taken, you know, Japanese 101. I have an A in it. And for some reason, I cannot pronounce Mia Mura. Whoa, that's... I don't know why. <laughs> Cross paths outside of school, neither looking at as the other expects. These seemingly polar opposites become friends, sharing with each other a side they have never shown to anyone else. Okay. All right. It's made by Cloverworks, so it should be, you know, of some quality. Um, okay, I can get with that. Eurocamp Camp Season 2. I've watched the first season. It's like an anime short. It's like anime shorts. Um, so I can, yeah, I can watch it. It was a cute little anime. <laughs> Bless me. Huh? <laughs> Bless me again. <laughs> Thank you for whoever said bless me. Anyway. Hataraku Saibo Black. Didn't we just see this earlier? Or am I bugging? Oh, we did. Okay. It's another, so two of the same anime, two versions of the same anime is coming out at once. Interesting. Okay. And then, um, alcohol smoking, stress in the body, subjected to these irritants, the cell responsible for maintaining life. Yeah, I know this anime. Okay, I know. It's like, it sells at work. It sells at work. Okay, it sells at work. There you go. That's where I've seen it before. That's where I've seen it before. At least I think it sells at work. Um, Mushoku Tensei Isekai Itara Honki Dasu. What is this? Killed while saving a stranger. Oh, wow. Okay. So it's from a strange a traffic collision. A 34 year old Neat is reincarnated into a world of magic as Rudius Grey Rat, a newborn baby with knowledge, experience, and regrets from his previous life retained. Oh, so this is like. Well, it's not. It's similar to. Um, reincarnation of a bookworm or something, whatever it was called. But okay, I can go. With that. But it's a isekai. It's a well, they're both isekai. So this is like a action version, you know, magic version of it. Even though the other one is still magic, but it doesn't have much action in it. Kumo desuga nanika. The world where the hero and the demon can continue to oppose each other. The grand magic. Ah, what is with all these fantasy anime? Come on, man. You gotta see more dramas. You gotta see more romance animes. I gotta see them. I gotta see them. You guys know me. I love my romance animes. <laughs> Kaifuku Jutsushi no Yarinaoshi. Yarinaoshi. Killing magicians cannot fight alone. Another fantasy magic anime. Kiare who was bound by the common knowledge, was exploited again and again by others. One day, he knows what lay beyond healing magic and was convinced that a healing magician... <sighs> I don't think I'll be watching that one, man. I can't. I can't. It's an etchy, you know. It's probably just going to be another fan. It's going to be a fan service anime, clearly. Um, But I don't know if I can get into it. Second season of World Trigger. Haven't watched the first one, so I don't really know what the description of it is. Jaku Chara Tomozaki Kun. Tomozaki is is one of the best gamers in Japan. In his opinion, the game of real life is one of the worst. No clear cut rules for success, horribly balanced, and nothing makes sense. But then he meets a gamer who's just as good as him. She offers to teach him a few exploits. Project number nine. Okay, I can get with that. I'm pretty sure it's the same animation company as Seven Deadly Sins. Let me see. No, Studio and Den. Uh. Okay, I don't think I've never heard it. Then I guess I've never heard of Project Number. I swear I saw Project Number Nine anime somewhere. It's gonna bug me, so I gotta look. <laughs> um, Project Number Nine. No, I'm bugging. Okay, I guess I'm bugging. Alrighty. Um, that's an L for me. Oredake hai hai dedu kakushi dungeon. Um, Nor is the son of a minor noble with very little to his name other than a job offer, which is canceled before he can even start his first day. He does possess one rare trait, though, the ma magical ability to consult with the great sage. Even if the using the skill gives him terrible headaches, unsure of what his future holds. <sighs> 
he accesses the stage for advice on how to move forward and it's directed to a secret dungeon full of rare beasts and magical items. I'm not gonna read the rest of it. Um I I knew from the start of it it was an etchy anime. Um It's another fantasy magic anime. Like why are they really so many of the same genre of anime at once, you know? Nan nan uh non non beauty non stop there's season non non beauty never watched that but it looks it looks cute it looks like something i can you know get into the seinen so kimono jihen when a series of animal bodies that rot away after a single night begin pro appearing okay this is this is looking like something i would like in a remote mountain village, Inugami, a detective from Tokyo who specializes, is called to investigate. While working the case, he befriends a strange boy who works in the field every day instead of going to school. Shunned by his peers and nicknamed Dorota Bo, after a yokai that lives in the mud, he helps Inugami uncover the truth behind the killings, but his supernatural forces are, are at work. And while Dororata Bo is just a nickname, it might not be the only one about the boy. Only thing about the boy that isn't human. I can get in that. I can get into that. I can get into that. Oh, yes. Wait, what is this? Oh, no, this is a... Oh, man. Ah, man. I was really hoping for this to be like an actual series. Like the actual season. It's a Bungo Stray Dog. That Bungo Stray Dog is posted right here, man. Like... I mean, I was hoping for the next season because the next season was mainly about um, what's his name? Uh, the dude that has the the power, like the power to erase other powers. Um, Tatoeba last dun. Wait, what is this? Um. Okay, Tatoeba last dungeon. Mai no mura no shonen ga joba no mashire kurasu yona monogatari. That's a long ass name. A long ass name. Um, Lloyd is a novice adventurer whose dream is to discover true strengths in the capital he's always admired. Despite growing up with neighbors who always consider him weak, the story starts with him departing from his hometown, which just so happens to be located right next to one of the most dangerous dungeons in the world. Lloyd may think of himself as powerless, but when he goes to the city that serves as the starter town for adventurers, the difference between him and everyone else couldn't be starker okay that sounds entertaining like that's a fantasy magic anime that you know i don't know i, I would i would like to watch you know x arm yo this looks dope by this picture itself this looks dope. i'm gonna turn off my notifications i'm sorry y'all 2014 akira and natsume seems to almost have a phobia of electronic devices while also being very good at diagnosing them, he resolves to change himself for the better and gets a girlfriend like his older brother did. And get a girlfriend like his older brother did. But then Akira suddenly dies in an accident. Sixteen years later, a special police woman and her android partner retrieve and activate a highly advanced AI and super weapon called X-Arm. Um, where was I? Yeah, X-Arm. And put it into full control of their ship as a last resort. Turns out the AI is actually just Akira's brain. Okay, that sounds dope. That actually sounds dope. Um, sci-fi anime. I, I'm not sure how I feel about the the animation style though. It looks kind of chop, not choppy, but spotty. You know, like it's different. It definitely looks different. The animation style definitely looks different. SK Infinity, Reki High School. I think that's how you pronounce it. SK Infinity. Uh, skater addicted to S, a highly secret and dangerous downhill skateboarding race. Um, no. I'm not even gonna continue reading that. Um, it just it sounds ridiculous. I'm not gonna lie, it just sounds ridiculous. It sounds funny, but it just sounds ridiculous. Um, how much more anime do we have? Jeez, there's a lot of anime coming out this season. Wow, there is a lot of anime coming out this season. Um, okay. Uh, where were we? Where were we? Okay, you're the set guy picnic. Um, her first counter with Tori Toriko Nishina was on the other side after seeing that thing and nearly dying ever since that day exhausted university. Student Sorawo so 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 Kamikoshi's life changed in this other world full of mysteries which, which ex existed alongside our own. Dangerous beings like the Kune Kune 
in Hashaku Sama that are spoken of in real ghost stories appear for research for profit and to find an important person. Toriko and Sorai Sorao set foot into the the abnormal. Um Okay. That's something I can get behind. Two point four three saying Coco Danshi Volleyball Boot. A volleyball anime. Oh no. Um this is not gonna it's not gonna live up to Haikyuu at all. It's not gonna live up to Haikyuu at all. I can already feel it. Um, yeah, I can already feel it. Vlad Love Mitsugu, Mitsugu Bamba, Banba is a high school girl who finds meaning in meaning in donating blood. She frequently visits a blood bank to donate blood, despite being harshly treated by the nurse. One day, she encounters a beautiful girl who looks like she's from overseas at the blood bank. Okay, um, it's a vampire anime, uh, alright, um, to continue, I'm not gonna read that next one, it's another Linden Films anime, um, they clearly make a lot of, um, how many Linden Films anime are coming out, Linden Films, Linden Films, at least three so far, um, it's a lot, okay, yeah, this is, and yeah, no. Wonder Egg Priority doesn't have a description. Uma Musume Pretty Derby Season 2. Never watched the first season. Back Arrow. This looks old as hell. Ringarindo is a land surrounded by a wall. The wall covers, protects, cultivates, and nurtures the land. The wall is a god. The wall is God. It is the foundation of this land of Ringarindo. One day, a mysterious man named Back Arrow appears in Esha Village on the outskirts of Ringarindo. Arrow lost his memories, but says that all he knows is I came from beyond the wall to restore his memories. Arrow heads out behind, be, beyond the wall, but is embroiled in a battle with himself as a, at the stake. Okay, um, that's cool. The anime will tell the story of high school students as they compete in groups in a unique form of figure skating called skate leading. No, um, that, that's gonna be. I feel like that's aimed towards females. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Um, damn, we got a lot of anime to read, man. Shoot. Tenshi Sozo Design Boo in Heaven's Animal Design Department. Designers create a very variety of new anime uh, animals daily while contending. All right. Um, interesting. So it's like a fight of animal versus animal. So like tiger versus lion or whatever. Okay, Majutsushi, Majutsushi, Orphan Hagure, Tabi Kimlaken. Second season, never watched the first. At least I don't think I have. Kai Bioi Ramune. Psychological Supernatural Shonen. Okay. As long as hearts exist inside people, there will always be those who suffer, and then something strange enters their mind and causes a strange disease to manifest inside the body. The illness, which is called a mystery disease, is, an un is unknown to most, but it certainly exists. There is a doctor and apprentice who fights this disease, which modern medicine cannot cure. His name is Ramune. He acts freely all the time in his foul mouth and doesn't even look like a doctor. However, once he is confronted with the mystery disease, he is able to confront quickly uncover the root cause of his patient's deep-seated distress and cure them and beyond that. Okay, the picture doesn't really live up to the synopsis, so I'm kind of, I'm intrigued. I really am intrigued. Project, Project Scarred, Prior no Kizu. Project Scarred depicts an encounter and battles of those who, has, who have tattoos which possess the sealed powers of divine beasts and gods. The story is set in the Akatsu... Akatsuki special zone, a lawless zone in Tokyo. All right, um, I can. That looks cool. Oh my God, what is this? Jimi Hen, Jimiko wo Kaichao Jun Isei Koyu. Story follows Rena Yukuhashi Hasahi, a reserve office lady in Rio. Hey, Hachahi. Hachi Hachiya. What am I saying? Hachiya. Yeah. A businessman 
and fellow colleague. Yuka Hasahi appears to be the most reserved girl in the company and becomes a super beautiful one, woman when she dresses up. Flustered in the presence of her transformed self, Hachiya insists on taking her out only to find themselves in front of a love hotel. Oh gosh, okay. Yeah, it's like a borderline. I can't really tell. It's like a borderline hentai right here. <laughs> Show by rock stars. All stars? No. Okay. Uh, oh, Yotogame chan. Kansatsu Niki Sansatsume. Third season. Okay. All right. I gotta. I, I, this is the anime I also been wanting to watch. I have not started yet. Genki Doll. Nope. Um, World Witches. Hashin Shimasu. Military. Um, okay. Soko Musume Senki. No synopsis. Idly Pride. Oh, no. I. No. I'm, I'm, I hate anime like this, man. I, I, I do. I'm sorry. I do. I can't. I can't get behind it. Wix Lost Diva. A Live. Yami Shibai 8. A Season. Oh, my gosh. Shin Chuka Ichiban, second season. Okay. Maiko Chino, Maiko san, Chino Makana, Makanai san. That looks like an interesting animation, so I'm not gonna. Uh, Idols, um, Trap Baroque Precure, Apsi, Shugyo Niki. Okay, so these are ONAs, OVAs. Movie. Oh, what movies are coming out? Please tell me. Demon Slayer is here. No Demon Slayer? No. Um, oh, Ava. Oh, no, I already, I already finished Evangelion. Okay. Um, Princess Principal. Okay. Getting Tom in the final. Okay. Say Tokai Yukin Domo movie two. Um Okay. Alright, yeah. Um that's the end of it. Um but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um I will be making another video most likely on Wednesday. Um but yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like this video. Comment down below if you will watch what animes you'll be watching. If you agree on what animes I'll like, if you're gonna watch the same animes, anime as me. Um, I love y'all. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that, sub whoa, hit that notification bell. Jesus Christ, this, and this and this closing is terrible. <laughs> but yeah, y'all. Um, share this video with your friends, fellow weebs, otaku's, anybody that you know will love to support my channel. Like I said, comment down below, like this video, hit the notification bell, subscribe, and I love y'all. Peace out.